why I fast as an ex-pro bodybuilder. You know, I was a prep coach. I prepped a lot of athletes, I mean bodybuilders. I got them ready for competition. I had a team called Team Savage, and I used to prep a lot of athletes. And on top of that, I managed to prep myself to the Miss Olympia stage. I stood next to Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler and all of that by myself. You know, I didn't have a coach. What happens when in bodybuilding is that you do a lot of damage to yourself. When I say damage, when I finished bodybuilding, I had peripheral neuropathy because I was taking insulin on a daily basis. Every time I trained, drinks that I used to make full of, um, you know, whey and all that nonsense. And that drink would also have maltodextrin or some car powder, high glycemic. So when I finished bodybuilding, I had peripheral neuropathy. I was insulin resistant and I had sore joints. My joints were crazy. You know, I couldn't even walk up the stairs properly. I used to always wear wrist straps and elbow support, even when I was um, towards the end of my bodybuilding career. And then apart from that, I used to get these crazy panic attacks and the panic attacks would come in at different times of, you know, the day. And the worst was at night. I also had sleep apnea and sometimes I'd get the sleep apnea, at least wake up in the middle of the night. Now I did that for years. That became my life and I got used to it. And then one day in 2017, I put a post up on social media and somebody made a comment. You know, somebody said, Eddie, is it true that way it's not good for your prostate. And normally I ignore those comments like that, but I'm thinking, why would they say that? At that time I was drinking whey on a daily basis before bed. I'd done that for decades. Then um, about two or three days later, I thought, hang on, let's just see. So I took the whey out of my diet. I stopped the whey. And within two days, the pain in my testicle went away. And that surprised me. So I had to go back and think, hang on, hang on, wait a minute. I didn't drink whey protein when I started bodybuilding. It wasn't available. I had to go back to the beginning. I learned a diet called the fat burns, fat diet, high fat, high protein, and then carbs did before and after training. It was the best diet for me. I left bodybuilding with a lot of scars, a lot of injuries. So my plan was I needed to heal myself. So when I found that whey um, gave me some relief from my testicular pain, I was sold, not so hang on. Let me investigate further and see if, any, if there's anything else that I'm doing affecting my, you know, the symptoms that I had. And it turned out that I took all the carbs out of my diet, I took the way out, and my both started feeling better. Then I slowly, I started learning a lot more about fasting, and then I, re I discovered, you know, um, autophagy. So I started fasting, I started, um, slowly I reversed my sleep apnea, slowly my panic attacks went away. So then I realized, okay, so there is something in this fasting thing. So I slowly started changing my diet and I'd eat two meals a day. I started by eating three meals a day. I delay my first meal until I'm out maybe 12 o'clock, then I'll have three meals. Then slowly I cut it down and push it further. The further I push it, the better I felt. Then eventually I thought, let me do a prolonged fast. First of all, I did a 48 hour fast. I felt amazing. I did a 72 hour fast. That was also okay. I couldn't wait to eat. Then I did a six day fast. And after about um, the fourth day, I felt amazing. I felt like I was on some kind of drug. My mind was alert. I felt really good. The human body is designed to heal itself if you provide the right environment for it. The right environment is eating the right stuff and not putting ultra processed and um, crap and all this nonsense we get in our supermarket, especially sugar and hypercarbohydrate foods. The right environment is not putting that in your tummy. And the right environment also is sometimes giving your gut a break. But our ancestors, you know, they ate when they got the food. Whereas we get up in the morning, we jump on the, on the porridge, and then we've been told, you know, one in two of us will get cancer. When I was in my 20s, it was one in six. Now it's one in two. And what has um, happened, what's caused all of that? It's because of what we're eating and um, constantly eating foods on tap. I fast every day because I don't have my first meal. In between four and six, 6 p.m., have my first meal. Then I have a second meal, maybe about eight, nine o'clock when I get home. And that's it for me. And eating like that, it's made me feel amazing. If I said I didn't feel amazing, I'd be lying. But why I started um, doing this as a bodybuilder is yes, because bodybuilding leaves you with a lot of scars. In fact, right now in the bodybuilding world, almost every two or three months, a new person dies. And it's crazy. I don't understand how, you know, the families of these people who died are not making more noise. If my um, family member died, especially federations who promote these competitions and, you know, encourage these athletes, they don't care about them. And I know for a fact that when I was in the steroids, 
mentally. I wasn't capable of, um, you know, and being reasoned with. I knew what I was doing was wrong for me, but my mind was set on trying to get on the Miss Olympia stage and I was going to do anything. And part of it is what affected my health. And right now, I'm still in the process of healing because I still have a little bit of um, peripheral neuropathy, especially around my feet and my arms sometimes. What you need to do is change what you put in here daily because most of your immune cells, cells I think over 70% of your immune cells are found in your gut. So what you put in here affects everything. And again, what you put in here also affects your mindset because you know about the gut-brain axis. So right now, if you want to heal yourself, do a little bit more research about fasting because fast fasting has saved me, saved my life. I know it saved me pain. I say don't go straight into the fast. Start training your body for it. Start eating um, fats. When I say fats, animal fat, start eating animal fat and protein, take out the carbs and the sugar for a while until you become fat adapted. When you're fat adapted, you find that fasting is so straightforward. You've got enough energy on you. You're not starving yourself. You're not. You're teaching your body how to access this energy, especially body fat that you've got on you. I want you to try this fasting thing. If you don't know what to do, go to my page on Instagram. I've got videos where I chat exactly what I do through fasting when I'm even training and all that. And it's interesting. The longer you went without meat, the more alert you became. It became. And when I fast, after about three or four days, I feel on top of the world. I feel I've got lots of energy. And my cognitive ability is um, greatly improved. I'm trying to help especially bodybuilders because right now I see many bodybuilders dying at young ages. There's an easier way of bodybuilding. And if you want to know, know it. Check out some of my videos on um, how to build muscle using fatty acids and protein. Guys, thank you for watching this. And if you enjoy the content, please give us a like and then subscribe to our channel because it helps us grow so we can provide more content for you. Thank you very much.